Yo, what's up everybody? It's Nick Hamilton and I'm live at the ballpark for MLBBro.com. Make a, a choice between baseball and, and hockey. In, in 1956, I was, I was playing baseball in my uh, in um, a team called Marysville Royals. And I was scouted by two, two scouts from the Milwaukee Braves Minor League Operation. And they said, Mr. Ray, we'd like to invite you to uh, the Milwaukee Braves Minor League Operations in Wake Forest, Georgia. Well, soon they said, Wake Forest, Georgia. I said, no, no, I'm not interested because I knew the way blacks were treated in the, in the South. And I told my, my mom and dad, I said, I have this opportunity to go to Wake Forest, Georgia and, and for a training camp. They said, oh, no, oh, no, don't, don't, no. So then I, I talked with my older brother. And my older brother was not only my brother, but he was my mentor. And he taught me a lot of things that I needed to know. And he said, well, how do you feel inside? How do you feel here? Do you feel like that you'd like to go down for the experience? Or you just want to just say no? I said, I'd like to go down for the experience. So I went down. I flew into Atlanta. Nobody met me there. I got off the, I got off the, off the plane into the terminal. And the first thing I saw was white only and colored only. So I go in and um, use the uh, restroom, and then I come back out and contacted a black cab driver out in front of the, the terminal. And I said, I've got to stay overnight in Atlanta. Could you recommend a hotel where I could stay? So he takes me to an all black neighborhood, nice little hotel, I stayed there. The next day, I get on a bus, and three hours, I'm in Waycross, Georgia. I was assigned a dorm with uh, seven or eight other players of color, and uh, issued a uniform, and now we're starting, we're starting to practice. The first week went by, and I'm still there. On the outside of the dorm, there was a, a list. And if your name appeared on this list, that means you were going to be sent back home. You know, you were done. So the first week went by, and going into the second week, I see my name on the list. So I go in, and they said, Mr. O'Ree, uh, we've been impressed with your play, but we think you need a little more seasoning. Now, outwardly, I... It, I felt like, oh no, I wasn't good enough to play, but inwardly, I was so happy, I was jumping for joy. So, I get on the back of the bus, and Black said to sit on the back of the bus, I'm five days on the bus. I'm rambling up through the, up through the states, and as I'm getting up north, I'm sitting now in the middle of the bus, and I arrive in Bangor, Maine, and I'm sitting at the front of the bus. Another three hours, I'm in my hometown, and I stepped off the bus, and I said, Willie, forget about baseball, concentrate on hockey and that's when I was contacted by Punch Imlac who was the coach and general manager of the Quebec Aces a professional team up in up in um, Quebec City and he said I'd like you to come to try out for the Quebec Aces and I was I was 20 at the time and so I go up make the team and then that's that's how it all started for more right now go to mlbbro.com